Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Roland and I'm your tutor. In this particular video, we'll be discussing mere photo. We'll be discussing the short vowel first. So let's start off with by saying pan, then what we say is panna, kop, kopa. You just double the last letter and add an e. Very, very simple stuff. So let's move on. We then have the twin vowels, so man. You drop one of the vowels and you add an e. Mana, buet, bueta. Very simple stuff. Just make sure to remember the rule. Let's move on. The double vowels work as follows. We have dir, dira. You just add an e. Fur or futa. Fur becomes fura. Foot becomes futa. In that case, I wrote fur and then foot. But in the re reality, it should just be fur, futa, or fur, fura, and foot, futa. So let's do double consonants. Fark becomes farka with an e. Dorp, dorpa with an e. And so basically, just if you have double consonant, just add an e. That's the simple rule. If it ends in an ig, then you say chsuch. For instance, chsuch ta, you just add te. Lich, add te, is lichta. And that's how easy it is. Really, really simple stuff. You need to make sure to remember these rules. It's important for your writing. All right, words that get ERS are going as follows. Okay, let's start off with kind. We add ERS, we get kinners. Say so kalf, kalvers. Notice that we change the F to a W. It's a bit of an exception. Lum, double the M at the end and add ERS. So these ERS ones are a little bit different. A couple of exceptions actually, if you want to look carefully. Because if you looked at kint, you would have said nds double consonants, you just add an e, but in this case you add an ers. So just notice that. Right, let's move on. We've got ending in og. What do you do when you end in og? So you've got uach, you put a dl in on the e, and you drop the g. Uerloch, you drop the g and put a, add an e with a dl in. And it always works like this. Very nice rule, that one. So if it ends in AG, we start with Frag, we just drop the AG and replace it with an E. Dach, drop the G and add an E. And yeah, very easy. Let's move forward. E with a deal token. So we say Flich, drop the G, change the E to a deal token. Drop the G for Pluch and add an E with a deal token. Nice one. Let's move forward. Let's do the short vowel plus F. Chif, we double, we drop the F and make two W's and add an E. Stoff, drop the F, two W's and add an E. W, W, E. And now we're talking about twin or double vowels or vowel consonant plus F. There's a nice rule over here. So let's say stoff. We say stoffa. So we drop one O, we drop the F and replace that with a W, E. We've got a doif. So we've got two vowels and then an F, we drop the F and replace it with a W-E. Dave. Nice one, let's move forward now. So we've got words that are ending in hate. So Muntlegate, Biesigheit. So Biesigheit becomes Biesigheide. Drop the I-D and uh, replace that with a D-E. Muntlegheit, Muntlegheide. ID is replaced by DE. So now let's do ending in ING. Kunung, kunung, we just add an S. Pisang, pisang, s. So pisangs. Lirlang, lirlangs. So does that sound right? Lirlang, So that's an exception. Make sure to remember that exception. The ING doesn't always get an S. Mostly though it does, except for words like. Or in this case, Lierlin. So this actually is an exception to the rule. Most of the time you will just have an S that is added after an ING for plural or mere folk. Let's do multi-syllable word plus an R. Muerter, muerters, gets an S. Onderweiser, add an S. Onderweisers, there's multiple syllables plus an R at the end. Ower, owers, just add that S. Nice and easy. Let's move on forward. 
Let's do ending in IE now. Baiki, so generally a lot of the uh, verklein wordel. Uh, so baiki becomes baiki, so you just add an S. Kaiki, kaikis, just add the S. Buempi, buempis. It's very good to actually study this by actually speaking these words out loud, practicing your, your enunciation and pronunciation, as well as the fact that you learn very quickly that way. So you'll learn the, the way in which to do your mere photo. Just to understand, mere photo goes all the way through from grade 8 to grade 12. You'll still be doing your language tests. So if it ends in a short vowel, the emphasis is on the vowel. We say ma, apostrophe s, fuetu, apostrophe s. Nice and simple rule there. Right, short vowel, a short vowel that is ending, plus the uh, emphasis is on the first syllable. O, there's an emphasis, O, ma. We add the S without the apostrophe, so far, so far, so far. You add the S without the apostrophe. Let's do words that are ending in man. So you've got Engels man, Engels sir. These are quite interesting. So you'll have things like France man, France sa. There is an exception for beer man. You'd say beer. Policy man, policy. So just make, make notes of those two exceptions over there. You'll often get asked these sort of uh, questions in the exam about uh, the, two, the two exceptions above. So we call them semi-exceptions because there aren't many rules that are similar to them. But they are an exception to this particular rule. So, words that get ENS. But, but, dins. You double that D and you add an ES because it's a, it's a short word, it's a short vowel and short consonant. You double the D, add ENS, just add ENS because that's a double vowel before the consonant L. So, if you look at bed, You'd probably say you've got a short vowel, short consonant, double the D, add ENS. Hava, just add the NS. Leva, NS. Noi, just ENS. Fro, just do words that are ending in UIG. Flich, toich. Fur, toich. Far, toich. You say flich, Drop the G and add an E. And there you go. That's a decent rule. Voertuig, vliegtuig, vaartuig, vaartuig, voertuig en vliegtuig. Right, let's do words that are ending in US. Medicus, historicus, politicus. This is a more confusing one because there's two different options for your mere photo. Medicus becomes medicus, so you double the last consonant S and add an E. And then you can do medici. And the same goes for historicus, it could be historicus or historici. Politicus, politicus, and politici. You see, there's two different options that you, you can choose either one. It doesn't make really any difference. Let's do words that are getting the TE. BS gets TE at the end. BS ter. Prefect, prefecta. Prudic, producta. Viewless, viewless ter. And voorskrif, voorskrif ter. Lovely, easy game. Look at that. So you just add the TE at the end for these five words. Right, so there are more. Well, there's more information. So let's do fierce. Graf. Fierster. Grafter. Kas. Kaster. Lace. Leister. Nes. Nester. Pianus. Pianister. Turas. Turister. Once again, you can see very simple stuff. Leitskrif, Leitskrifta. Go over this video multiple, multiple times. If it's going too quickly, you know where to go. Thinkbrainweb.com has got everything from notes to your videos and your tests that you can do as practice before your, your tests and exams. So as we can see, we've got Fias, Fiesta, Graf, Grafta, Kas, Kasta, Lace becomes Leista, Nes, Nesta, Pianus, Pianista, Tourist, Tourista, Tateskrif, Tateskrif, Ta. There we go. So now that we've done the words, let's do the letters of the alphabet and do their plurals. So we have A, B, E, and then there are two exceptions. 
or 3 in this case. So you've got M, N, and X. So just generally, if it's anything besides these three letters, you add an apostrophe S. Otherwise, for M, N, and X, you add an apostrophe E. It's unusual. But as one does, every language has some exceptions. So the rest of the 23 out of 26 letters, remember also that you don't really use your C letter. The rest just get an apostrophe S, except for these three. So M, N, and X get the apostrophe E. Just make a note of that. Right, let's do some exceptions in mere photo. We've got the, the fill. Beervel is more like the word's pronunciation. Beervel. Blad, brug, bierman, jetten, gat, glas, hem, hof, lit, nach, pat. Say these words out loud and practice the pronunciation correctly. Then you practice from the singular to the plural. It will go get ingrained in your head. And you won't really need to study too much for this particular topic. So we've got rug. And the rest that are down at the bottom, we'll get to them now. We just add the feel. We get we add an bevel gets a uh, an e. Blood becomes blier. Brug becomes brer with the copy on the u. Birman bira as we said earlier. Yet dung becomes yet goed. Notice that dung changes to goed. Gat becomes gata. It's very easy. Glas becomes glasa. Also a very easy one. Hemp becomes hem and der. That P changes to a D and you add an E. It's a little bit more confusing, but focus on, on remembering these kind of words. So let's look at hof, over, lit becomes leder, nach, nachter, so you add the TE. So that just means nights, pot means paths, so you say paya, double the A, and uh, change the D to an IE. Look at that ruhr, same as brewer the copy on the U. The UG then changes as we can see from UG to copy U and E. Skip becomes skipper. Spieldung becomes spielgut, much like we had the word yet dung becomes yet good. Spell becomes speller, spieler. Start becomes steeler and tate becomes taya. Alright, that's now that we've done mere photo. Happy days, we've gone through it. Yes, 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 well done, we've done all the rules. You can take a chill now and we'll discuss how the mere photo are tested. Alright, we know that they want the plural when they use the words such as Baya, Tala, Almol, Dijela, Land, Aldi, Mensa, Verskaya, etc, etc. These sort of words is what they're going to use when they want you to do the mirfot. So they might give it to you in a uh, paragraph, and in the paragraph they'll use a word like verskeia, and then you'll have to do the plural. So they might leave out the a uh sound, which means a. So say buyer before the word, and this will help. So if you say buyer means then you know it's plural. Buyer means, buyer means, it'll help you feel it. All right, easy game.